Yo, what is going on, boys? It is your boy Nick from Run the Foot Market. Guys, I have big news for you guys today. As you can see here, 34 wins this weekend. I know on this channel we have usually a lot of videos that are trading, investing, news, and in, in FIFA oriented. Well, this weekend I actually decided to play a weekend league. Haven't played a full weekend uh, since FIFA 17, where I got, I think, two or three Elite Three finishes in a row. Um, and then this year I've gone like 27 and 6 and 27 and 8. But I'm playing this month for the monthlies. I've been playing because I want to get 20 reds. I want to get Elite 1. And I was like, okay, I can hit 27, 28, 29, 30. This weekend I played some amazing players and I ended up beating some amazing players. And it was such a good weekend for me, um, competition and skill skill wise, to see where I'm at in this game. Um, we may, I, I'm, I'm not, probably not going to be putting much gameplay on this channel ever, but if I do play another weekend or two and we end up doing this well, I'm going to probably put out another video as well because for me, guys, this is a huge accomplishment. Um, so smash the like, boys, if you guys are, are pumped for that, man. Look at your boy on 34 freaking wins, all right? What is he saying? Cripsy's still ahead of him, but it's okay. Um, no, nah, but for real, man, like this is, for me, this is a big, big accomplishment. We go 34 and 6 on the weekend, and I believe at one point I was 22 and 4, so I closed out the weekend... Uh, I think 12 and 2, which is really good, man, because at the end of the weekend, you're usually playing people who are just at your projection level, right? So I was projected to get Elite 1, and I was playing guys, <clears throat> and I was playing guys Elite 1, Top 100. Uh, so we, we, I'm really, really happy, man. I, I had to play 25 freaking games yesterday. I was 15 and 0 going into Sunday. 34 and 6, you will take that. Um, you can't stay perfect. Guys, I want to show you really quickly what I do before I start it all up. This is the team I rock with. Now, guys, at the end of the video, uh, not at the end, but actually some of this video, I recorded my last three games. So I'm going to put my last three games on for you guys so you guys can go ahead and watch the last three. I'm going to edit them up and show you guys the highlights of the game. We are somewhere on the champ channel. I mean, it's just a dream, boys. What are we saying? Look, so we play with this team. You might say my team is amazing and, oh, my God, how are you not getting top 100 with that team? Guys, trust me, a team is not everything. You need to be good with the team. Yes, teams matter this year, but you can't be, if you're not good, like, you know what I'm saying? If you're bad with the team, you're not going to get Elite 1. Elite is hard enough to get. You got to get 29 out of 40 with the delay, all that stuff. And we ended up getting 34. And I swear to God, man, this man is the freaking GOAT. Guys, if you haven't done this SBC card yet, you need to go do it right now. I start this guy in my team. Guys, I could go by Messi. I could go by any right winger I want. And I use this guy, 236 goals, 202 assists, and 300 and 35 games the dude is on another freaking level i also love sun a lot blanc was huge for my team this weekend i put him in uh as center back he, he literally you could see 40 games i literally just played 40 games i bought him and i was like okay let's give him a go unbelievable highly recommend 6-3 medium high the 6-3 really helps man he's for some reason he's just so long and he gets onto so many balls um yeah and then off the bench we use we have a lozano a munier i don't really use the munier as much as i use lozano i i bring in lozano a lot more he scores a lot of big goals for me uh just kind of runs around the defense we did upgrade to 90 hullet this weekend he was very good um we bought him for 3.34 3.435 he was very good it took me it took me a, a few games to kind of get used to him i know you're kind of like how did it take you a few games to get used to Hullet? But it did take me a few games to kind of get the groove going with Hullet. But overall, he was a really, 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 really good player. And guys, I'm just so pumped, man, because with us finishing Elite 1, I'm going to be able to bring you guys. Let's see what I can bring you guys this week. Uh, with us finishing Elite 1, guys, I'm pretty sure I can. I, I, I can't see it here, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to be bringing you guys two premium Team of the Week packs and two 100K packs, and we do get 125,000 coins. So. Whoever's in the upcoming team of the week, we're gonna get a, we're gonna get six informs from the upcoming team of the week. And I know the packs aren't the best, but hey, we'll, we'll freaking take it, boys. Like your boy just got elite one, all right? Elite one, elite one. So it's pretty crazy for that. So you guys can see, and I will go show you that you guys will go see the gameplay of the last three games in a minute. Uh, I think for the month we are doing very well. We should be in the top 100 for the month, are we? I'm not sure. We might have just got knocked out on skill points. I think we're on 62 for the month. I believe for the month I am on 62. 62 for the month so i'm i'm just on the edge of the, the the regional top 100 for the month we finished 52 in the region uh for the week and then we missed out on top 100 but i think two or three wins i'm not sure how many wins but yeah boys i'm gonna go show you guys the last three games and i hope you guys enjoy smash the freaking like if you guys are pumped and i'm gonna i'm gonna show you the last three games i'm gonna comment over them talk about some things that i really like in players and yeah let's get into it so boys it was a pretty uh it was a pretty crazy last three games uh guys by the way before we get into this game like yeah i don't even think the away home side thing even matters i didn't go ahead and play that game because he was taking so long 
So basically, I'm going to commentate over some highlights right now. Before we get into it, guys, these last three games were crazy. I was 32 wins with three left. Um, I think I was just coming off a of Penn's loss, so I was like, okay, we got to do this. Um, and essentially, I also do want to mention, we beat some really good players. We played this, uh, I want to give a shout out to, I think it's Siberiuski Wolf. He's going to Barcelona. We played him this week and we gave him a really good game. Um, and then we also did end up playing, um, we ended up playing against Commando FIFA, who we actually beat two to one. He had a crazy team with R9 on Re. It was, it was ever so hard to stop. So this is the squad, obviously, we're rocking with. I showed you guys a little bit earlier on uh, the team that we were actually rolling around with. And yeah, man, so we're, we're, this was a weird point where I like I was like, this guy I kept searching against kept backing out against me. So I was like, okay, I'm not even going to waste my time. Um, I'm literally just sitting here trying to find a game. It was actually kind of taking forever, but I think we finally found one here. I don't really care about home right away, guys. I just go into it now. I will say this. The game we played, um, this game was pretty crazy, and I know that I looked later on. This guy finished 32 and 40. We played probably 20 or 25 people who finished on 30 plus this weekend, so our strength of schedule was all so hard. Uh, I, I Honestly, guys, I want to explain to you in this game, I don't know what happened. I think I forgot how to defend because this game was absolute insanity. Really quickly, I'm going to let you guys see uh, exactly what I switched to in game so you guys can be a part of that and kind of see what's, what goes down with me and, and what I do with my kind of like tactics thing uh, with that. But dude, this game was crazy. I think, I don't want to spoil it, but I think I ended up letting in like five goals and I hadn't let in a, more than a goal or two in a game all weekend. So this game was really weird for me. And this is the problem with away games. And now I understand why people don't like away games is because I ended up playing on his field where I couldn't really see the ball. There was a lot of shadows, um, and I'd never actually had this kind of experience. So it was really weird for me where he had Del Piero, Alessandrini, and Bergkamp running all over me all game, and I couldn't really see the ball, man, because it was like the sun was beaming on the field. You guys will see what I mean with the shadows and all that. It just, it, it was just, ah, uh, just, uh, you know, I was, it was late, I was tired, and it was, it was just kind of brutal. But we ended up winning the ball right away off kickoff, uh, off of him. We're gonna, we're gonna drive down the field now a little bit later in the game with Hullet. Uh, the big boy, Hullet, Big Daddy Hullet. Going to send an entry pass into Quincy Proms, guys. My favorite player on Ultimate Team. I mean, look at that strength. A little bit of a cutback and then a boom. A nice Ronaldo shot. De Gea with a great save. We had a lot of those kind of shots this game against this dude. Um, he was a good player. Uh, and then we're going to go here. And I always like to fake like I'm going up. And then I would like to drive down on corners. That's kind of my way to go. And then I'll dish it in. We get Blanc, who Blanc was great for me, actually, this weekend, guys. In terms of he can attack. He can do everything. Then we get Hullet, Big Daddy 90. Hullet with the fadeaway shot off the corner. Corners are a really good way to score goals, guys. If you know how to execute them, you got to play the short passes and everything like that. Here he does some set piece with Rykard that I've never seen in my life before. And he scores off it. He manually moved his center back to, like, go right over the wall. I don't know what was going on there. And that was really confusing for me. But... We ended up getting scored on. Rykard didn't really cause any problems for me, guys, in terms of the icon center backs. I would stick to Ferdinand, Maldini, uh, Blanc, those kind of guys. I've actually liked Blanc more than Maldini and Ferdinand, and I've used both. Uh, and then here he's got big boy Anthony Martial driving down the line on me. I think he does come ahead, guys, and I think he gets a kickoff right here, and he scores again on me, which is just, oh, man. But we do win it with Vieira. Uh, I, I, right there is the, the thing. That's the, there's a few things I need to polish. Right there is where I should have given it up. And this is just the whole thing where I was tired and the, the shadows and all that. And, like, the quick movements between Burkham, Del P, and Alessandrini it just killed me right there. And he got a goal. And I just, I was frustrated, man, in this game because I had beaten a lot of good players this weekend. And this kid was good, but he was on 31 or 32, and it was very beatable for me. And I just didn't win it. But the good news is it didn't matter anyways. Like, Elite 1 was Elite 1. We hit Elite 1. But this was a game where, in hindsight, when I looked back, and I was like, oh, my God, if I won that game... Um, but he still was a really good player. By all means, he wasn't a bad player. I just did a poor step there with Vieira. And I, I don't know. I'm all over the place right here, guys. Like, I don't know what I'm doing, really. Um, it's just really poor defending for me. But I, these are the only three games I actually recorded. And I didn't want to just sit here and show you guys a Champs Channel game. I wanted you guys to see exactly uh, what's going down in these games. So we're going to go ahead and cut scene that. And then he's going to drive down here with Del Piero. Who's, guys, by the way, Del Piero is crazy. He's going to hit a finesse out with Alessandrini. That card is ridiculous, man, and it's my worst nightmare in foot champs. The dude is not even that good in real life, and on FIFA, he's like a top five player. He's like better than freaking team of the years. I don't understand that card, man, but it is what it is. I'm never going to use it. I use Lozano off the bench, as I showed you guys earlier. I think, I'm not sure, but I think uh, we do make some noise here. We do get a foul there with Ronaldo. Ronaldo's great, man, at drawing fouls. Like, it seems like he knows when to hold the person off when he can't get, can't get a foul, but he knows when he can get a foul, so... I do like Ronaldo a lot, man. He's, he's obviously such a good player. Nice little entry pass there. And Quincy Promise, man. This card is the real deal, man. Look at that. I mean, just touch, turn, boom. Finesse. 
low corner baby i mean the, this was goals galore too i mean there was way too many goals going on in this game i don't know if it was the stadium i don't know but he couldn't defend either i just don't think he was that good um and i was still good attacking wise i just look at me i can't defend usually right there man i was so disappointed in myself i would have stepped right there and just won that ball and i was just playing scared man because i guess i was on 32 and i started to not play the way i usually play and i was like okay let's play like chill and this guy was coming at me man and the way that got me to 32 was going at people that's how i'm beating pros that's how i'm beating guys who are elite one because i'm going at guys that's what you got to do man you can't sit back you can't defend you can't try to possess the whole game and play like a little girl you got to go at him man you got to show him what's up and you got to attack 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 here Ronaldo makes a great pass. I, quincy promise man th i mean that card look at i mean beautifully executed man a little bit of mm -mm and a turn back and then a boom man the guy is crazy man and the thing is that i love about quincy promise guys is that 84 passing 84 passing on your striker is insane he gets a goal with Burkamp there and that's going to be it for the game he wins 5-3 uh and that was the first game we lost in the last 10 we ended up or uh, yes in the last 10 we went on 10 game win streak and i lost to this dude out of all people uh, but it is what it is man he dropped some games so we're going into the next game man we're playing against a pretty good side it was it was a, it was an all prem team with a few icons we got a great pass there from promise and he gives it to sun and sun actually gets taken down in the box uh which was great and we're going to go ahead and get ourselves a little bit of a penalty kick i have been doing well with penalties this week this weekend guys i did take up a new tactic which is to kind of do it a, a finesse uh kind of like mid to, to to halfway on a side and you keep it low which is what I just did right there. Usually when the goalie dives that way, it will go under his chest. I, it, it's the AIDS, man, but we're, we're going to do what, what gets us the goal. So we do get one in there. Pretty sure this dude hits us with a kickoff, guys, and comes right back at us. Um, no, you know what he did? Yeah, this is like five minutes later. I actually just won the ball there, and they he, the guy took a shot. And when you're in the shooting animation in this game, uh, they will give you a penalty. If, if you if you if I click B and you you are in the shooting motion, and I just don't miss if I miss the ball, they get a penalty. They can just they can fall. And I knew he was going to go in the middle. I dove to the right, so he did get uh, a penalty goal to equalize uh, the game. And then this is a crazy part of the game right here, where it's just going to be back and forth action. Um, seriously crazy 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 lorther's always winning the ball right there you guys can see look at my man quincy promise look at the passing the man has the distribution of mr sun what a goal that was guys sun is my favorite cam man that i've ever used and i don't know how i'm gonna be able to like the thing is man we can afford pele we can afford maradona we can afford all these guys man i just don't want to get rid of sun i love sun so much and for me the five star weak foot and just the way he plays uh really just fits my play style so there we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna sub on losano chucky losano we're gonna get him into the game boys and yeah man lozano's guys i do recommend the 84 lozano if you guys need a super sub put that dude in man he will just come in and electrify your offense um here he did something where he sprinted across into the box with with lacazette he really got me there with sun for me that was just really poor defending guys he did it right off the kickoff i don't i don't i was so mad at myself when that happened i was literally looking up at the room top of my room and i usually stay really patient but i was just like oh my god i'm so much better than that I was really disappointed right there with that. Here we do a good, t we, we win a really good ball with Bay. Ronaldo's going to get it. Ronaldo's in the crease. And then he feeds Hullet. And Hullet's going to hit a beautiful low driven. You just got to find the angles, man. It's all about finding the angles and, and knowing what's going to go in and what's not going to go in. I will say this goalie he had, which was Prime Schmeichel, was amazing. Prime Schmeichel is really good. And I've heard that he's not that good this year. And people are like, yo, he's not that good. Prime Schmeichel is amazing, guys. He's the real deal. If you do want an icon keeper, you're looking for something like that. He's your guy. The dude is crazy, man. He saved like in the game. But two games before this, the one that I wasn't recording, he saved 17 shots, I think. And, and this was the thing was like, he subbed on Yaya Toure as a super sub. So I was like, okay, like can't be that good and then he just does that man and i was like oh my god so here we're in extra time boys we're now attacking this side uh he was panicky man this is how i play guys and i don't know if i've told you guys but i like to possess in other people's boxes i like to make them as uncomfortable as possible here we're gonna get a great play hull it and then we just he just blocks it last second and i was like no that was the chance man i was like oh i thought we had it man and then here we're gonna get a beautiful breakaway right before the second half sun's gonna chip the keeper which is just great man we're so we're so 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 happy to get that right there um and sun's one of my favorite players man this year as i just said lozano's down there the boys are all celebrating so we did get a go-ahead goal uh right before the uh right before the uh second half of extra time and then this is where i'm not going to possess guys that this is how i play in this game man you got to keep going at them because if you hold a one goal lead it's not going to work out for you here we do get a little bit of a as i'm talking about prime schmeichel but yeah we did uh we did end up getting a pretty uh a pretty good goal there and then um he's gonna come back down and then this is pretty much the game i believe as you guys can see we're 33 wins with uh one one match remaining and then um so yeah we gotta we gotta end up we're gonna end up 
I think this is where I, I got up and I was like, okay, like this is the game. We got to get it going on. I was nervous, man. I was really nervous to play this game. It was probably the most nervous I'd been all weekend uh, to play an actual game. Not, I mean, I'm not nervous. I was going to still play my game, but I was just, I was nervous, boys. You, I think everybody would be nervous. So we go right into the game. Uh, we're going to find our match here. I, I don't even care about kits, man. I was just like, wow, somebody's going to play me at home. Um, and let's see the team. So this guy actually does watch my streams, I believe. I'm not sure. Um, but had a really good team and I was like, okay, you know what? It's a good team, but it's not the worst. I was, I was hoping we wouldn't get a team with like R9s and Pele's and stuff. So we didn't end up getting that. You guys are going to see the normal switch in game and all that right here. Um, yeah, man, we're going to do the whole, I kept Vera back while attacking, Asandra back while attacking, Orior back while attacking, and then the two strikers will get in behind. So that's how we rock, uh, with those two. And then, man, I was like, all right, let's go, man. Game time, game time, game time. Really, really hyped for this game, man. I, I love playing in pressure games and, and really competitive games. And I like playing the, all the good dudes that we did play this weekend. Guys, I'm so pumped, man. Elite 1, what are we saying, man? We're going to get sick rewards this week. Team of the year this week. I'm so freaking pumped, man. And I wanted, I was so happy to do this for you guys and show you guys this gameplay. It's just so big for me, but it's also big for you guys. I told you guys I was going to get a really good finish sometime for you when I could play weekend league. And we, and we did it. I'm really happy with this. Um, so right away, man, we're, we're, we're on the attack. We're like, yo, we need we need this elite one. We're going at him, bro. Um, Quincy Prum is amazing, amazing shielding and amazing just distri distribution from that dude. He's literally, man, the, the go, man. I think Quincy's the go, man. Seriously. Nice little pass there. Look at his passing, man. Ronaldo, a little bit of a fake. Oh, boys, Cristiano in the third minute, man, doing what we needed most. And here's what I did right here. I actually paused the game because I was like, okay, this was a game where there was 53 minutes as you saw. So I was like, maybe he's got to get games in. And if he thinks he's already down with nothing and I got a good team, he's going to leave. Um, I don't believe he ended up leaving. Um, so I was like, oh, man, we got to play this out. I was like, you know, you guys would do the same thing, man. If you guys were in this kind of situation, I think everybody would be like, OK, like, let's try to get the let's let's try to get this guy to back out. But he didn't end up backing out. So we're going to have to go right back into the game, which was a little unfortunate. But it happens, man. We were going to go play it out. Uh, but amazing goal from Ronaldo. And we, we will totally take that. And then, uh, yeah, so then he's messing around. And then he pauses the game. And I am like, hallelujah. He lets the ball go out. 34 wins and it's as easy as that man we got 34 wins and i'm so 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 pumped for that boy so if you guys did enjoy this video make sure you guys smash the like uh, i do appreciate you guys all coming to watch today and uh yeah boys elite one what are we saying man thank you boys for watching i'm out peace